<clears throat> well, every dollar that is spent purchasing Russian energy is a dollar that is being used to fund Putin's war. And so the administration was right to ban uh, imports of Russian oil and gas in this country. Uh, but it, there's an underlying problem that preceded uh, this current conflict, and that is that uh, the administration has, uh, for from the very time they took office, literally said no to American energy production. They took uh, leases, oil and gas leases on federal lands, uh, took those off limits. They obviously killed the Keystone XL pipeline. I think it was the first executive order the president signed when he came to office. All examples of this administration's hostility to traditional conventional energy sources in this country, much of which we need right now. And uh, I think we are all in favor of um, you know, trying to come up with solutions to energy problems that are cleaner and more efficient and uh, reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Uh, but for the foreseeable future, we're going to need liquid fuels. And so having an all of the above American energy policy makes all the sense in the world. Uh, it's, it's just amazingly ironic to me that we are taking Russian energy now out of uh, you know, our energy mix here in this country, which is about 3 to 4 percent of all the energy we use, at least in terms of crude oil imports. And, um, but now going, again, hat in hand to other countries like Venezuela and like Iran, asking them to increase energy production because we're not doing enough to, uh, to increase energy production right here in the United States. It makes absolutely no sense. And I would say to the president, why not American energy? Why, why Venezuela? Why Iran? Why can't we have an all of the above American energy strategy that makes Amer America energy independent, reduces the dangerous dependence that we have on some of these foreign regimes who are unreliable, and, uh, and, and helps lower energy prices for people in this country? It's, uh, it's a simple uh, matter of economics, and um, I just hope that the administration will find their way to do the right thing for American energy consumers, um, for our national security interests, for our economic security interests, and for America's energy independence. There's a solution out there. It's an American solution. And it's not only an American solution. It's something that could help so many of our allies around the world. If he would just open up oil and gas, these areas, federal lands, private lands, uh, for leasing, if he would support pipelines in this country, which contribute to the infrastructure that helps get rid of the bottlenecks, the rail and uh, uh, truck bottlenecks that uh, so oftentimes hamper the distribution of energy in this country and around the world. These are all American solutions to this challenge and something that this administration can do change in terms of their mentality, their policy, their decisions, and they could do it overnight.